Uh, often the liberty message is watered down. How do we combat this and what can we do to make sure it stays pure? I wouldn't worry a whole lot about it other than worry yourself about not watering it down. So if nobody, if everybody here agrees with the libertarian message, if you never water it down, then we've accomplished a whole lot. But uh, no, there are, there are some groups now that literally state, well, we haven't made enough progress fast enough, so therefore we have to do something else. And I, I, in, a, in a way, I, I don't spend a lot of time on that because that's their decision. I think they're making a mistake. And, uh, but but if, they, if, they, if they do that, uh, I think they are bending the rules by calling themselves libertarians <laughs> if, if they give up too much of it. But uh, so, so I think that uh, if, somebody, if somebody does that, but they still have something to contribute, for instance, uh, uh, you know, the division between uh, libertarians and progressives, I mean, I mean, sometimes it's so radical, it's so difficult to do much with them. But I like to look on the best side of it. Uh, the progressive Democrats that I work with, like Dennis Kucinich, I don't dwell on the fact that he has a disagreement. We have a disagreement on medical care. But we talk about civil liberties and we talk about war. He's strong anti-war. So I concentrate on that. So if it's a libertarian who seems to have been weakening, uh, if he asked me for my opinion, I'd give it to him. I would try to persuade him not to. But uh, I would go for looking at the young minds that minds are more open and not these groups that have been around for a while. And they think, well, we need more progress and so we better water down our message. Uh, I think I think young people are uh, more receptive uh, to standing on principle, and uh, I think that's why I like to come visit with them. <laughs> Another round of applause, Dr. Robert. Yeah. Uh, before I bring up John Goodnight to do a quick close, um, you guys can all sit. He deserves the, the standing over there, not me. Um, we are going to do, uh, Dr. Paul's agreed to do photos with everybody. Yay! Now, I'm going to tell you this, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to try our best to make sure every single person gets a photo. Uh, we will be very, very clear about this. Uh, there are over 450 of you guys, which is awesome. Uh, what that means is we do have to be pretty strict about autographs. Uh, if everybody tries to get an autograph signed, we're here until 6 a.m. So uh, we will just be doing photos. We will take the photo uh, and we will post them to the YAL page so you all will get them. So your phones can stay away. When you do get in line, please don't have any bags or anything with you, you need to put down because we're going to try to work through it. The line is going to start here. Everybody hold where you're at. We still got a few things to do. The line's going to start here. 